Hi, Mary from Reviewer's Diary. I'm taping a few different videos tonight. Now this recording is going to be products that I want to use up in 2016. So I'm going to start first with a set that I got from Marcel it's called New Age and basically is a cleanser, a serum, and a cream. Now, I got to try samples of this stuff and I liked it so much that I bought it twice. So I actually have two of everything. This cleanser is 3.4 ounces. I know that a good cleanser is going to last for a while. Um, I'm not sure if this is absolutely accurate because it was laying on its side, but this is 3.4 ounces, so I'm starting here. I can't really see through this 8-in-1 serum. By the way, this stuff is fabulous, absolutely fabulous. I love it. And if you really, really wanted to try a great serum, this is the stuff to try. This cream I've never tried, but I, I'm pretty sure this is going to be no problem. Mm. And that's what the cream looks like. A little shade from the lights. It's, ooh, it's nice and like moist feeling. I know cream's supposed to feel moist, but this doesn't feel overly thick and, you know, um, it just rubs right in very nicely. Oh yeah, I like that. I've had this oil forever. Um, it's actually not cruelty free. It is the Age Perfect Glow Renewal Oil. Now they've repackaged this and increased the price because that's what cosmetic companies like to do. This is L'Oreal. I've used it a couple times. This tends to be oily oil. Like some oil is not that heavy. So this Age Perfect Oil um, I am going to use this up and I'm never going to buy it again because there's plenty of oil out there that's cruelty free. And I'll mark it on the paper label just so that hopefully it doesn't wear off. And there it is. I also have this mask from Freeman. Freeman is cruelty free. It just says golden green brightening mask. There are a lot of ingredients in there. Um, this is a full moisturizing mask. The next few things are foundations. This is actually in my 14 by February 14th. So if it's not gone, then I will carry it over into the makeup products I want to use up. I'm also going to use up this Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation. Looks like I'm right to there. I only used it a couple times. You don't does not take very much to get a good, um, almost like medium coverage. Next thing is cruelty free, and this is the Wet n Wild foundation. I have used this a couple times, but not very much. I mean, maybe I used it once or twice. It's not even showing that it's down at all. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the BB and CC creams, which I have quite a few because I have to use them or throw them away because they'll be old. In fact, I'm going to put this into my 7 by Spring because I know this is going to be gone. This is Dr. Brandt BB Matte. It looks really nice on me. It doesn't feel overly drying. It's just not cruelty free. And this is not that old. This is BB cream with Flexitone. So it's another one of those BB creams that um, kind of adjust to your skin color. I don't know how they do that. This is also Dr. Brandt. Again, not cruelty free. I have a CC cream from Physicians Formula. This is kind of old. Um, it's in the color light. I smelled it, still smells okay. I'm going to use this, and if it doesn't irritate my skin, I will use it up by the end of the year. I also have this Cargo Tinted Moisturizer. Now, the SPF in it has already expired. I have two of these. I have one that hasn't expired yet, and I have this one that has expired. It doesn't smell bad. The color's not off. I think it's just a matter of not trusting the SPF in it, so I'll just have to make sure that I wear other SPF, which I pretty much do every day. 
Uh, this is one of my new favorite products, the Urban Decay All Nighter. Make sure when you use this that before you spray your face with it that your makeup is exactly the way you want it to be, period. Because what happens is you can't move your makeup around. <laughs> like you can't like pat something and smooth it out. You can't it's it stays. Like I think you could sleep with this on and your makeup would still be intact. This is the greatest stuff since sliced bread. This honestly is one of my favorite things. I am going to use these primers up. Now I have one in my everyday makeup drawer because it's one that I've opened. These have never been opened. You can see how little I've used and I've used it a number of times. This stuff lasts forever and I went and bought the king size one. So I'm going to be using these up. I believe I'll be able to use these probably by Cinco de Mayo. So I'm going to put them in the Cinco de Mayo challenge. All right, next is an eye primer, and this is a Mica Beauty eye primer. This stuff goes for about $45. I have three of them. I've been using this, uh, just barely, like, just barely made a mark. This is great. This is like foundation for your eyes because it covers up all your redness on your eyelids and it makes everything stick. <laughs> There's nothing that falls off when you put this primer on. And when you combine it with spraying this, your eyeshadow never comes off. So I'm gonna use up this eye primer because I have three of them and they're just gonna go bad if I don't like use them up. I have a whole bunch of concealer. I mean, I have a metric ton of concealer. I've chosen these two because the LA Girl um, a lot of people really like it and I bought it, but I only used it once and this Rimmel match is a little light for me, but Rimmel's not, not cruelty free. Yeah, it's uh, produced in the EU, but it sells in China and so therefore Rimmel's not cruelty free. So I, the LA Girl, by the way, is cruelty free. So cruelty free, not cruelty free. So one is a little too dark and one is a little too light and so I'll dot it on and combine them and I will use both of these up in 2016. Um, smooth Skin, it's actually in a challenge right now and my goal for that challenge was just to hit pan which I have done but I plan to use this up completely. But this NYC powder actually the Smooth Skin actually matches me to a T but I do plan to use up um, this NYC Smooth Skin Powder over the course of the year, if not sooner. I also have this powder from um, Physicians Formula. It's like super, super old, but it doesn't doesn't smell bad or anything. <laughs> it's this Oopsie Daisy, it's called, um, and it's Le Botanics Botanical Translucent Face Powder doesn't smell it's you know it's and I've used it several times you just kind of sweep over the whole thing I don't like go oh there's a white powder though there, there's a yellow powder now I just take my big <laughs> stinking powder brush this is my morphe brush what I do is I just go over the surface of the powder and powder my whole face so I will use this old old powder up during this year I also have a setting powder. Now, um, this is from Be A Bombshell, and Be A Bombshell is cruelty free. I've done my research. This, actually I use this once or twice. It's very cool and nice and doesn't itch my skin, which is a big one because my skin itches from just about everything I use. I have very sensitive skin. This powder is really nice. I got it in, whoops, it's wow. The cap is, it, has uh, let a lot, a whole lot of it go through that sifter. I guess it could be the way I stored it. Um, but anyway, this felt really good. I used it like twice and then I forgot about it. This is why these project pan things that we're gonna be doing um, starting with this year again are great because you have this stuff and you never use it. You forget you even have it. 
So this is actually going to go um, this year. This will be gone, and I might add this to my Cinco de Mayo. I also have a blush, which looks more like a bronzer, and a little bit of a highlight. I usually use both together. This is old. This is like so old. It's, it's like beyond old. I have to use this up this year. I put it in a challenge, but the powder, which still is fine, it takes forever. This is from L'Oreal. It's not cruelty free. It's one of the oldest makeup items that I own. Doesn't smell, hasn't turned. So definitely use this up, but at the end of 2016, if it's not gone, I have to throw it out because it's just that old. This came in a Nipsey bag. It is the Park Avenue Princess by Tarte. Tarte is cruelty free. I really like this, but it's taking me forever to use it up. I also have a highlighter that I love. Statement Skin. This came in a birch box, and I liked it so much that I bought a second one, so I have two of these. Now this is full. Um, I guess I should mark on the cap where I am so that if I do updates you'll be able to see my progress. This stuff looks like really natural on. It looks, it just looks beautiful. All right, so I marked the cap. There it is. It's just beautiful. Like, watch this. Like, you, it blends, you can see it there, but it blends in effortlessly. And it just makes you look, like, alive and not, you look more awake, and it's just beautiful. I love this. I absolutely love this. So Susan is cruelty free, I'm happy to say. I have two little samplers that I'm going to put in here just because they take forever, 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 forever. Like they have so much product in them, it's unbelievable. So I have this Bomb Desert. These are both from the Bomb. The Bomb is cruelty free, or blush and a bronzer. So I'll start first with the bronzer because this I got, you know, longer ago. I think it came, I'm not sure where what it came in. But this is um, Bomb Desert bronzer. It looks dark in there, but it's really not that dark, and it actually looks like I've made a little bit of a divot in it, but this is like the size of an eyeshadow, and bronzer you don't put a lot of on, you know, unless you look really like the bronze goddess and you love the stuff. <laughs> um, but I don't put a lot of bronzer on, I only put this on, this or this on every day. And I put a light sweep, and this is going to take a while. This is like, I can't even put this into my Cinco de Mayo because this, uh, it looks like nothing, but trust me, it lasts for a while. And this is the Frat Boy Blush. I have not even used it yet. This came in a birch box. Again, it's about the size of an eyeshadow. This is going to last. It's, I just know it is. And if I love it, I actually will order the full size, but this is just going to take forever. I have two eyeshadow palettes. They're both Elizabeth Arden. That's the reason that they're actually going to be in this Use It Up during 2016, is because Elizabeth Arden's not cruelty free. I was an Elizabeth Arden girl. I had every kind of Elizabeth Arden cosmetic. My favorite foundation was um, the foundation from Elizabeth Arden. Still love it, but don't have it anymore and won't buy it again. But everyone I know is either going cruelty free or has gone cruelty free. And so I'm gonna, just going to use these up. So the first one is an eyeshadow palette that also has a really pretty blush in it. I actually have a favorite color here, which is this green. It looks stunning on. It's just really beautiful, and um, this purpley color looks really great on. So I do like these. These are good cosmetics. And the other palette, but this also, they all come with a blush, these little palettes. And I've actually, you can see that I've used this blush, and I've used this, the eye makeup. I've used this set a couple times. This is very impractical. This is a highlighter and a bronzer. I know 
they're small and I should be able to use them, but it's just impossible. So that probably won't go. That'll go to heaven wherever this goes. To not cruelty free heaven. <laughs> okay, so this my cella set. I am going to use this up. This is a very fine, always like it's one of those eyebrow pencils that you can go up, go down. I have it on today. I like it. It matches me. It's fairly light color. And this is just a clear brow gel. So I am going to use these two products over up over the course of this year. And I also have this is the Maybelline Brow Drama. Maybelline is not cruelty free. I bought this eyebrow stuff before I changed over to um, only buying cruelty free stuff. I actually really like it. So I wish they would stop it. Uh, but I will use this up and I won't buy it again. So I have this set of Tarte. Are they liquid lipstick or are they gloss? I'm not sure because they just don't have that much writing on them. They came in a set that I got. They're getting old. They're minis. They're not the full size, but I know from experience that a lot of times minis give you more product than you realize they're going to. So this tart is cruelty free. I just don't know how much is in these. I also have two from Starlux. They're also minis. This one is old, this one is new. These are really small and so I thought they would be perfect that you know I'd be able to succeed. I'm actually going to put some of this stuff into my Cinco de Mayo or 7 by Spring. Um, these are two lipsticks that I was not successful in finishing. One is cruelty free, one is not. This is a the most underrated makeup brand. This is actually going to be part of my eyeshadow thing. I just have to get all the stuff out for that. The most underrated brand in the makeup industry is the Ulta brand. Now, just to give you an idea, Sephora brand cosmetics are not cruelty free. Ulta brand cosmetics are cruelty free. So if you're going to buy a store brand, then go for the Ulta. These products are like stunningly good. I've had this little, it's a mini chubby stick. It's not even the full size. The full size is about this long and probably lasts for like 10 years. I had this in a challenge and I failed at it miserably. This is in the color Sugar and Spice. I can't find Sugar and Spice anymore. It's just not available. I am gonna use this lip color up and I'll probably use it up to the point where I'll take a brush and I will use the product that's in the tube that's left behind. It's that good. So if you're going to buy a chubby stick, this is the one to get. I have this Elizabeth Arden lipstick. It's the oldest lipstick in my collection. It's really, really beautiful. It's in the color Plum Pearl. I don't know if they even make this color anymore, but this was also in a challenge. And I was unsuccessful finishing it, so... This is also going to be finished during this year. And I have this e.l.f. lip cream. It's in the shade Michael. Now I've used this a couple times and I really love it. I'm going to use up this EOS lip balm once and for all. I love it, but it's not cruelty free. And so I'm going to use this up and I'm never going to buy it again. So thank you for watching. This has been Mary with her viewer's diary and this is my products I want to use up in 2016. Have a beautiful evening. Good night.